ultimate outdoor drama. So if you just told you my name is Steven, and in tonight's performance, I'll be playing two characters this evening. In the first act, I'll be playing the role of Chicksika, who comes to his older brother, and in the second act, Shaobini, his right-hand warrior brother. Now, it is my duty and my pleasure to demonstrate to you some of these weapons that we use in this performance. So, without further ado, I introduce to you folks the brown vest. Now this is a British military musket that was used around the world around the late 1700s. In tonight's performance, you'll be seeing both American soldiers and Native Americans firing this weapon. Now this is a smoothbore musket and a muzzle-loading weapon. What I mean by smoothbore is that the inside of this barrel is just as smooth as the outside. Now when this was normally loaded, it was loaded with something called a patch. Now that's a metal ball wrapped in a piece of cloth, and when that was stuffed in there, you best believe it was going to put a hole in something. But we don't use any slugs here. We use wads of brass. Good for two reasons. One, it makes a lovely puff of smoke, which we all love. And two, it disintegrates almost immediately after leaving the barrel. All right, let's load them up. All right, I'll go into my little green box of goodness over here and pull out a shotgun shell. This is filled with 140 grains of 3F black powder. So I'll now pour down the muzzle. Now to simulate the patch that I talked about earlier, Get a nice wad of brass in my hand right here. Make it into a nice compact ball in my fingers about this big and stuff it down the barrel. The bigger the wad, the bigger the boom. I myself like big boom. So get that nice and stuffed in there. Now we are almost ready to fire. The firing mechanism on this weapon is called the flintlock mechanism. As you can see, there is a piece of flint rock attached onto this hammer. When the hammer is in full cocks and the trigger is pulled, it will strike this piece right here called the frizzing. What happens when flint strikes metal? That creates spark. a spark. That spark is then sent into this piece right here called the pan, which will then go through a small hole through the side of this barrel called a touch hole, making it boom! Let's try it. I'll need my ketchup bottle. This is filled with 4F black powder. It's a finer grain of powder, which is also called the primer, which I'll now pour into the pan and lock my prison. So now I'm ready to fire. And before I do so, I'm going to your firing to let everyone on this compound know that I'm doing it on purpose and not intentionally to harm anyone. So please, if you just like loud noises, hold on to your eardrum. Here we go. Firing! And there you have the brown vest. <laughs>